Hello friends, welcome to our today's video for decoupage on a Budan surface or any MDF base. You can see some beautiful handcrafted coasters here. Once you learn this, you will be able to decoupage on any wooden or MDF base like a wooden tray, wooden box, jewelry box. You can even upcycle your old wooden furniture at your home like this I have done last year. These are the things we need. Gesso, a white gesso, chalk paint, white chalk paint, mod podge. This will work as a glue. This is matte finish. A flat brush and a small round brush. Two coasters. These are MDF base. And yes, decoupage napkins. You can choose any designs. Now it's up to you. If you want to decoupage both the sides of the coasters, you can. Or you can just decoupage one surface and the other side you can paint with acrylic paint or chalk paint. These are some old coasters I have done. You can see. And now for the final finish. To protect our decoupage surface, we'll use this varnish. This is Asian paint clear varnish. You can also use this type of varnish. But there is a difference that I'll tell you while using it. At the end. Now before we start, we'll spread an old newspaper on our table to protect it from paint or glue. Let's start with these MDF bases. The first step is to apply this white gesso on this. I'll use this flat brush. This gesso works as a primer. So you know any MDF or a wooden base, it is porous. So for that we need to apply this primer first. We will apply only a single coat of this on the both sides also on the edges. And yes you can use uh, a flat brush for this. While applying chalk paint we will use the sponge. Guys if you haven't watched my basic decoupage video please watch it. So you will get the idea about all these materials. Why we are using it and how to use it. I will put the link in the description box. Now these are my two coasters after a base coat of this primer, a white gesso. Next step is to apply this chalk paint. Here is my chalk paint and yes, I will apply this with a sponge. I am not using a brush for chalk paint because I want to avoid the brush strokes and I want even white surface. See like this, I will apply this and I need at least two coats of this chalk paint to make it an even surface, white surface. Once I apply this first coat, I let it dry completely. After that, I will go for the second coat. Many people are asking me whether we can use normal acrylic paint instead of chalk paint. But guys, these chalk paints are also acrylic paint, but these are matte finished acrylic paints, whereas normal acrylic paints has a glossy finish and they gives a smoother finish comparatively. And it is always better to have a rough, little rough surface or a matte finish base when you are going to glue something on it. Now these are my two coasters with two coats of chalk paints on both the sides and edges as well. Now it's time to glue this decoupage napkin. First I will make the layers separate. This is three ply decoupage napkin. See these are two extra layers. Now I will apply this Mod Podge on this base with the help of a flat brush. Even for Mod Podge many people are asking whether they can use a Fevicol. But guys Mod Podge has all those ingredients in it which works as a glue, as a sealer and as a finisher as well. So it is always better to use Mod Podge instead of a Fevicol uh, for long lasting projects. Now gently place this paper the thinnest and the topmost layer of this decoupage napkin on this base. Now you can use a sponge also or here I am using a plastic cover. Just put your hand inside and press it gently. Make sure you remove all the wrinkles and all the air.
now for this extra paper on these edges you can just wrap it around or you can cut it there only and you just paint the edges with the paint for the second coaster i am going to use this design on one side and for other side i'll use this this part i need to cut it i'm cutting this with the wet brush please watch my first video of basic decoupage you will get to know why we are cutting it with the brush with the wet brush do not forget to separate all the layers especially the topmost see guys if you are liking this please don't forget to like comment and subscribe also share this video with your friends See my first coaster is dried. Now I'll glue the edges. For edges, I'll use this sponge instead of a plastic paper. Dab it. If you want, you can use a same pattern, a same design on both the side of the coaster. You just uh, need a long paper and you wrap it around. paper means a decoupage napkin or decoupage tissue not a decoupage paper that is a thicker paper and that kind of paper works better on a tray or a bigger wooden box not the small coasters here you need thinner paper now see both my coasters are dried now now i'll work on the rear side make sure the first side is dried completely after that you can start on the other side guys apart from these coasters if you want me to make uh, more videos or on any other wooden surface or mdf base please let me know like a name plate a wooden box a jewelry box a tray let me know in a comment section i'll make the videos also this video you watch it fully till the end and listen carefully all the tips uh, about these materials guys this brush you are using for this glue you need to keep it in water immediately after every use and make sure you wipe it with a tissue paper before you apply the glue Now you can see both my coasters are ready uh, from both the sides. Now the next step is to apply a single layer of the same mod podge, the same glue, which will work as a finisher. See, first this worked as a glue when we glued the paper on the base, then worked as a sealer when we sealed the edges, and now it works as a finisher. Uh, only a single layer is enough for this this is a matte finish mod podge you can also go for a, a glossy finish now one important thing happens here when you use this as a finisher with the help of this flat brush you gently remove 
uh, whatever the air bubble or air remains be below the paper and you can also remove the wrinkles gently but you need to be very careful otherwise it will tear off your paper now see my coasters are almost ready from both the sides time for the varnish now this is asian paint clear varnish uh, you can apply this with the brush and same thing uh, after using this varnish uh, immediately put your brush in a water for 3 to 4 hours otherwise your brush will get damaged as I told you in the beginning, you can also use this type of varnish, which uh, we usually use for a wooden basis. But this gives yellow tint and you can see both my uh, papers, my designs has a white background and I don't want yellow tint or yellow shade on it. That's why I'm using a clear varnish. That type of uh, varnish is easily available in any hardware shop. And one more thing, uh, if you use that one, uh, it takes a lot of time to dry, almost 24 hours to dry. So you need to keep it, uh, keep your project, your work uh, in a place where there is no dust. Otherwise, it will attract the dust. And this clear varnish, it dries in uh, hardly 10 to 15 minutes, uh, depends on your weather conditions. <coughs> it's a bit costly than that. It's available online. You can check. But uh, it's always better to use this one. This is matte finish and you will get a glossy finish in this also. Usually a single coat is enough but you can also go for double coat of this varnish. Thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. See you again and let me know if you have any doubt in a comment section. Bye.